it's Monday morning. Welcome to another vlog. I am about to head down to my Monday meeting, which is just two minutes away. We all woke up very late, but everyone was well rested. So yes, I like productivity. I value peace even more. Today, we're going to actually put makeup on my face. We're absolutely going to go get these nails done and I might do a little Q&A on my Instagram as well. And yeah, that's really it. Let's get the day started. Perfect. Okay, great. Yeah. And then yeah, keep us posted. Yeah, because that was pretty much it. I, I thought I could add her, but I pretty much had to replace myself because she attached it to me with her. So I know you guys will figure that out. But yeah, but other than that, I, even, even with that being the step we had to take, it was pretty self-explanatory. So. I now have makeup on and a toddler in my hand. I'm deciding whether or not to put him in the playpen or let him live. Don't go back in that tiny room. I set everybody up for success. I worked, we went through another meeting, knocked out a blog post, tackled some emails that needed to be tackled, and then I took Christian with me to go pick up the girls so Chris could get some uninterrupted work time, and then I brought them back here because I was like, it doesn't really matter what happens next because the only thing that's happening next for me is getting these nails done. It was not up for debate. I was like, let's go ahead and get these nails done. So Chris is upstairs tackling something and I am tidying up. So basically when I come back, I don't have too much to deal with, but these nails have been, they look like hot trash in the trash huts. Hey guys. You know, they're just so cute. I'm really convinced that that's why God makes them so cute, because they're so loud. Um, makeup today. I have been pretty consistent in the foundation department with the NARS um, Soft Matte Foundation. And then I did the Lashy Doll um, Mascara. I actually kind of rushed through it, but like if you take your time and apply it, it looks beautiful. I felt like a pop of color. I felt like I deserved that. And today we are wearing the, I think it's Obsessed by Pat McGrath. I will link to it in the description box if it's not the correct, whether or not this name is correct, I will link to it at the bottom. I'm actually doing pretty good with my trays today. Uh, I usually am just so bad at like keeping them in because I snack, I'm doing a second cup of coffee, I'm doing this and doing that. And the long and the short of it is, is that I just need to not be snacking that much. This week is really like a test ground. It's like testing the waters of my new schedule. We are going to be officially kind of making that shift into what I'm kind of calling like the new era of like everything that we have going on. And so we are, uh, we have made a new schedule. We're trying it out this week, making sure that it actually works for us, making the appropriate tweaks. And then, yeah, so I've gotta be a little bit more disciplined as much as I wanna just like frivolously scroll Instagram and just be a free spirit. Uh, gotta be a little bit more uh, structured so I can prosper with this new schedule. So Tuesdays, Wednesday, and Thursday are pretty scheduled to a T, even Friday. Friday I have been taking off for maybe the last year or so. It kind of is just naturally part of our dynamic here at home to kind of not work as much on Friday. But really gonna be using Friday uh, to maximize and set myself up for success for the following week. So I'm interested to see how that is going to go.
Hello there. I have gotten my nails done. I just got the ombre um, powder, which I don't know if it's just the place that I go to. It's like really expensive. I did have to repair a nail and then it was a fill in and then it's the powder, but it was like 60 bucks. And then like my pedicure was 40. So it's like, a, it's a hundred dollars to get your nails and toes done or is that high robbery because I live in Atlanta? Either way, I got it done. And what was so interesting was that I was like getting frustrated the whole time that was getting done because I was thinking about the other things I could be doing. So I was like, oh, I could be doing this, I could be writing this up, I could send this email and this and that. And, you know, it reconfirmed for me that one, self-care is not this just like overindulgent thing. It's very, very much a discipline. I like having my nails done, I really do. So it's not like somebody was like holding me hostage or, or like forcing me to do this by any means. But at the same time, I realized how not present I was because I was so busy thinking about what could be done in the future or instead. And I haven't been meditating for like the last couple of weeks and I had like a really good streak there where I had like meditated for a few weeks. I haven't been reading as much like the last like week or so. And I was like, you know what? It, I, I've really got to allow myself to enjoy this. Like for that first 15 minutes of my pedicure, which was really great. It was probably one of the best pedicures I've had in a really long time. Um, just because I really, this was probably like my second time getting my nails and feet done since the pandemic. I just was like, just thinking about how much more I could be getting done versus just being like really excited to just have a break from everybody and everything, whether it's email or the kids or work, and really just had to kind of force myself to just kind of watch some YouTube videos. I caught up on a TV show that I've been watching. Love The Equalizer with Queen Latifah, by the way love and you know i came home everything was fine the kids were all bathed you know chris cooked he knows exactly what he's doing he does a great job and yeah i had to kind of like you know give myself a break so if you are like oh i don't have time to do this i could be doing so much other things you're not lying you could be doing other things but what's wrong with taking time to invest in caring for yourself, doing something that's going to make you feel good later, even if it doesn't make you feel good in the exact moment. I think sometimes self-care can seem like a waste of time because there isn't instant gratification. And that was kind of like the lesson I learned there. And I was like, Maddie, pull yourself together. You're getting a manicure and pedicure. You're gonna be fine, you know? I am now eating a late dinner. I have put on a heaping of Parmesan cheese on my pasta and I made myself a little salad. I was like, I'm making, I'm eating a salad. I'll do a little cheese. I'm not doing any bread. I'm having a heaping of water. So today I actually have pretty decent energy because I've actually eaten and I've actually eaten things that give me energy. I think the one thing that I kind of slipped on today was not drinking enough water. So I'm going to chug this down. I'm going to relax. There's a couple items that I need to do before I go to bed. I think I'm gonna allow myself to knock one or two out, but I'm gonna be in that bed at a smooth, smooth 10.30 the latest. This, my friends, was Monday. The kids were hilarious and Chris is awesome. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon, it is Tuesday and we have had a very, very productive morning. Um, I got a lot of work done, got a lot of like big checks off the list in the inbox. Uh, got a blog post to, uh, to outline um, my notes for the podcast, which I'm about to get ready for. April 27th, 2020 was the last time that I recorded or released a podcast. So it has been a full year. I think a lot just happened within the last year. I didn't have it in me. I think every time I would try, something would happen and it was just a lot for me. So I'm really excited because 
we have had a lot of time to like plan and talk about what we want to do as far as the podcast is concerned. And what I'm realizing is that so many of like the new people who have followed me within the last year don't even know that I have a podcast. So it's a great opportunity for them to listen to the like, I think there's like 110 episodes. So there is enough to catch up on while I was gone. Of course, that means though, I have to get ready and look somewhat decent for the episode, but I'm really excited about what I'm talking about today. Hopefully by the time this goes up, you guys would have already heard it or watched the video or whatnot. So let me know in the comments below what you think. I may go with Chris to pick up the girls. I kind of like when I pick them up because he takes them to school and I just think that's such a privilege to be able to pick up my kids from school, you know, since I get to like choose my own schedule and stuff like that. But we'll see where I'm at like in the, the rhythm and the flow of the day. I do need to like start editing this vlog. I always like when Christian goes too because he gets so excited to see his sisters. I'm going to do my skincare routine and get to getting on this podcast. I'm all dressed and ready. Got my makeup on. And I really love how this turned out. This is just in natural light. But gosh, this, that NARS foundation is absolutely beautiful. I am wearing the Pat McGrath lipstick again in Obsessed. It is so beautiful. I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to wash it tonight. Yeah. All right, I think that's all I got for today. All right, headed downstairs to, there you go. There's a little better light for you. I just think it's so pretty. I love it so much. Let me grab my phone and let's roll. Today I'm gonna to talk about how to make your content look good so brands hire you. Because at the end of the day, you guys, it is influencer marketing. So the pictures have to look good, the video has to look good, the audio needs to sound good. Today is April Fool's Day, and we, me and Maya, my sister, switched Instagram accounts. And it's funny because people have, some people have caught on, but there's a lot of people who haven't. It's so funny because we know that we like look alike, but we're six years apart. And I feel like she's very much my dad's child, and I'm very much mommy's child. And there's just noticeable differences, but that's really what's been going on today. Um, I'm about to make Christian a bottle and then just go to work and just get like a good two hours of just straight up work done, you know? And yeah, cause next week might not have that liberty, very unlikely since it's spring break and all of the kiddos will be home, but I'm looking forward to it. I really like them, but it'll definitely be a lot more hectic probably a lot less work getting done. <laughs> an hour and then I'm hoping that I get a very huge huge massive thing off my things to do list that I've been postponing and it being the new month I just feel like you know what this is a fresh start so I'm feeling really good so I'm just gonna I've got my airpods on gonna crank up the music and then I'm gonna get this work done what are we eating for dinner I mean, I really want to make some salmon, but 
It could very well be pizza that's ordered just so I can get some more stuff done. <laughs> you gotta be honest with yourself. You know what, that's actually not a bad idea now. I'd rather take 10 minutes, like five, 10 minutes out now to order that, have that ready to go. And then it's just a pretty clear expectation. We don't have to worry about what's for dinner, who's cooking. You know, Chris has been with Christian for the last hour or so, because Christian is, I mean, his bait, his little molars are coming in, bless his heart. He is just cranky. He doesn't want to eat anything solid. And he didn't even want to have his bottle uh, that I was making for him earlier. So uh, I think between the screaming baby, I'm sure Chris doesn't want to cook. I really want to get this thing off of my things to do list. And I'm sure the kids will not complain about pizza. I hope not anyway, because it's very much so looking like that. So yeah, I think we'll probably just end up doing that. The most hilarious thing is that I just recorded all of this and the microphone wasn't on. So let's try that again. I wanted to show you guys my pajamas, which I will very much so be mentioning in my March favorites. I got my first pair of uh, party pajamas from the brand Sleeper last year. Love them. They are pricier, but I just think that we should normalize luxury pajamas, especially after the year we've had, the least we can do is sleep in things that we love. This, of course, is the super girly pink gingham print that I absolutely love with the white ostrich feathers. It's so cute. It's very, very girly and feminine. If that's your thing, this is totally your cup of tea. So if you are interested in getting, I think it's this combo and the beige combo, is on sale right now and it's so so cute but i love it i wanted to show you guys my pajamas that's how you end the week i got my taxes done in my fancy pajamas it's only right it's only right i'm gonna clean this closet this week it seems like it's the right thing to do that does it for this week that's it we made it through monday through friday together you and i and lots of fun bringing you along with me. This week, I learned a lot, but I think I learned what I already knew to be true, but I really understand now. You truly cannot take care of anybody else or anything else until you take care of yourself. I felt like I was at a standstill with a lot of both house and business projects and simply getting my nails done. I know, seems crazy, <laughs> but getting my nails done, like taking that time out, taking that two and a half hours and forcing myself to not think about what else I would be doing is seriously what helped me get through so much. Like, I feel like it was such a productive week. Like this morning, me and Chris just got um, taxes done, like huge check off the list, you know? To me, I was able to get pockets of clutter done. I was able to answer emails. I got to say no on projects that, you know, was allowing myself, just allowing to stress me out when it's like, it doesn't have to stress you out. You can just simply say no. And so I feel really, really good. I feel really, really capable, really, really confident. And I think that's the kind of energy I wanna take with me as we enter quarter two, you know? And so feeling really rejuvenated, the sun's out more. Hopefully next week, we'll get to go somewhere even for two days with the kids just for a change of scenery. Just trying to make sure, of course, we find somewhere that is safe um, with the appropriate protocols in place with everything going on. But that's it. I have therapy in the next hour and a half. I would love to eat some lunch. Did I eat breakfast? I think I just had a coffee, but sometimes that's all you need. So I am about to wash my face, get changed, and then have a good weekend. I'm going to start spring cleaning. I'm going to enjoy Easter with the family. Mom and dad are officially Atlanta residents, so we're gonna enjoy Easter with them. If you follow me on Instagram, I have been talking about how much I've wanted to do this, and so to actually take action feels really, really good. I'm excited to get the momentum up. And like I said, I do really like vlogging and sharing with you guys. So if you guys like it, let a young thug know so I can continue. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.